Greetings on the day. I'm very blessed to be a part of IC, IC that is International Conference on Electric and Electronics Engineering 2021. My name is Kandish Varanpurkar and I'm presenting a paper entitled as Risk Detection in Wireless Body Sensor Networks for Health Monitoring Using Hybrid Deep Learning. Uh, the paper, paper idea is 279 and the co-authors along with me are Anand Singh Rajavat, Ravindranath Shaw and Ankush Ghosh. So let's move to the next slide. These are the list of contents in, in which the paper will be presented, starting with abstract, followed by introduction, related work, uh, and end up to, up to the references. Now in abstract, what we are doing is, uh, the internet of things idea has been arising as interconnected networks for the healthcare tracking. Heart sensor-based, uh, data aggregation with the help of different devices and sensors in the form of variable and interstitial samples att attached for the acquisition of data. We also uh, have showed a detailed comparison of more uh, methods on basis of health surveillance systems, which are monitored through deep learning models. Hence, our proposed models for risk detection and in health information will be help to increase the efficiency of existing healthcare industry. Introduction. So health surveillance systems are based on information and communication technologies. Uh, whose main aim is to connect the people. So efficient utilization and security of energy, industrial stability is the main focus on the basis of health monitoring systems. So what we are doing is, uh, we are connecting WBAN, that stands for Wireless Body Area Network, which are formed with miniature sensors. And we, uh, we are uh, collecting data from different sensors and stored in, in a ser server. For preservation and long-term analysis, LPU data may be also distributed to re remote databases. Uh, which helps the he different healthcare uh, centers to monitor the patient's health. In this paper, the usefulness of hybrid deep learning model for health data classification through hybrid profound learning is increased. Also, WBN sensor nodes are vulnerable to both hardware and software problems, such as defective models, sensor activity, uh, activation, battery depletion and dislocation services. So what were, uh, so we are also tackling this problems in upcoming slides. So uh, high false alarm rate and inaccurate measurements are directly affect the public reputation of WPN and they misleads the patient's condition uh, by wrong readings. We are also using deep learning techniques which are capable of detecting the data extracted from WS sensor as I, I have said earlier. Now let's move to the related work. The related work is the, uh, how the related work is associated with this paper. Uh, the pathological tests are made up for patient irregularities, which must identify with great possible precision. So if we want to replace the actual uh, actual pathological test, the deep, the deep learning models which are we using are need to be very preci uh, precise. For deep learning techniques, the parameters to achieve a highly accurate model is to detect and extract the abnormal patterns and correlation between the different parameters. However, physiological characteristics are closely associated the heart. Heart, heart rate and respiration levels are elevated at, at the same time in two or three conditions. Uh, so there are many conditions in which the correlation is very common. So it is very difficult to detect only one single disease based on this. For example, right now uh, the COVID-19 pandemic situation is spreading across the entire world. And 
its symptoms are very common uh, with the, like which are uh, fever uh, shortness of breath change in uh, taste and loss of smell etc so in this way if you want if we want to develop a model which is solely based on one disease then it can be highly highly accurate furthermore the number of authors have attempted to mitigate false alert by irregular data sensors in uh, we can see this uh, application in smart health apps which include a brief analysis of deep learning models that are capable of detecting sensor data now uh, we have concluded a uh, a uh, comparative study for uh, analysis of different healthcare applications based on deep learning model so it can uh, we can st uh, starting with the study reference in which different author and uh, scientist have conducted a study year of focus the type of journal and number of primary studies already done on the paper and we can see that the problems are uh, depression detection sleep apnea detection brain tumor detection and brain tissue classification which is uh, falls under the category of predictive analysis medical image processing and bioinformatics and the common deep learning which are very promising are convolutional neural network and deep field network in the second table we will study how the different devices are used to detect the uh, problems like depression or severe anxiety similarly uh, the type of electronic devices used are wristband and wearables which are uh, full of uh, miniature sensors and secondly they are also using uh, sensor based patches patches are like bandages which can be applied to the part of the body where we have to where the sensor have to uh, measure the readings related to that particular area in this way the wbn body area networks work also in that the common most prominent machine learning or we can say deep learning techniques are k nearest neighbor and convolutional neural network so let's move to the proposed work so in in the proposed work section what we are approving is uh, we are implementing the risk detection model in uh, wireless body sensor network for health monitoring in which the model is already established so on that model we are proposing a, a hybrid deep learning model which is capable of detecting various types of sensor data on uh, modality specific algorithms which will help in risk detection so the uses of this sensory algorithms for deep learning are common such as in uh, indoor telemedicine in this way uh, there are some drawbacks which we have to uh, tackle in our uh, development of model so how we collect the data so in this method the collection of data is collected from a large uh, number of data mining techniques we have collected data from different types of uh, sensor based marts and we have then we have prepared some data report uh, sorry repositories for suitable analysis of data based on uh, like ecg uh, temperature recordings and uh, a rapid eye movement recordings etc so in this phase of data uh, data pre processing we increase the efficiency of data prediction by using available techniques these techniques will help us to improve the quality of data pre processing so which techniques we have used we have used uh, missing value uh, processes if there are missing values we have used uh, different uh, simple statistics for that like uh, if it is possible we can use mean median mode and others for filling that missing values in this way we have used very um, common techniques to improve the quality of data pre processing uh, also in some cases that algorithms not work in proper way which results are not included accordingly 
Now, uh, let's move to the uh, proposed algorithm uh, on which uh, our model is uh, designed. So it is the typical BPNN algorithm which stands for backpropagation neural network. So it is uh, used for sequence to sequence uh, problem setting and backpropagation uh, is specifically we have used because uh, the prediction which we are getting from WBN sensors, or we can say the data which we are taking from WBN sensors, uh, the design of VPNN is very specific and uh, it matches the, uh, it matches the requirement of WBN sensors. Also, this is our uh, proposed model in which uh, it can see that the uh, that input unit takes an input layer zero. So the inputs are formed here, uh, which are red colored first layer. And then there are three layers uh, back to back, hidden layer one, hidden layer two, and hidden layer three. And based on this hidden layers, uh, it generates the output as uh, by, known as output layer four, again in the red color. So the error error measurement was done by this uh, uh, hidden layers structure, uh, which we also known as a fusion deep learning model. And the entire model is known as EBPNN, which is known as error back propagation neural network for sequence to sequence task in which uh, it, the transfer of uh, data in a form of mathematical inputs was done. So this is our proposed model. Now result analysis, it is, the, I, I think, the most common section. So what we have uh, collected data and how we can, how we have improvised our technique. So uh, in the figure, uh, you can see that uh, Y axis contains the number of person and X axis contains the heart rate. Also, there are two labels, label zero and label one. Uh, in which the maximum number of is six, where uh, heart rate is in the range of 130 to uh, 135. Similarly, for label one, the maximum number of person is eight, whose heart rate is in the, in the range of 160 to 170. So according to our estimations, we have concluded that the range uh, of the people who are in the range of 160 to 170 are uh, severely prone to heart attack disease. Similarly, uh, this uh, graph is plotted for average precision score and AUC score. So the figure depicts the graph of precision and recall, which provides the average precision of 0 0.9211. And uh, other graph is, within that, the other graph is plotted between true positive rate and false positive rate, which results as uh, AUC, that is area under the curve, score is 0 0.892, eight, sorry, 0 0.8921. So what is basically AUC? AUC uh, offers a cumulative quality of performance across all probable classified thresholds. Conclusions and future work. And so as for the market, the top of the line technology, methodologies of acquisition and uh, processing of large sense data is growing and the use of sensor and accurators uh, network in WBN is uh, widely spreading. So we conclude that uh, deep learning or artificial intelligence is an efficient tool for especially in these uh, setting for the processing of large sensory data. Uh, we have implemented uh, many methods but we conclude, uh, we, we, uh, we premise that uh, back propagation neural network uh, is the best and efficient method for uh, the data which is acquired or from uh, variables, samples, and multiple sensors. In future, we try to implement uh, the real time environment for risk protection in wireless sensor, wireless body sensor networks for health monitoring using hybrid deep learning models. In addition to that, 
we have also uh, concluded the different deep learning strategies that are used uh, for very long time uh, and also considered as known cases for uh, sensory data in medical practice. On this basis, we conclude uh, our paper. These are the following references from which we have, which are uh, used for uh, different parts of studies. So in this way, uh, I conclude my presentation here. Thank you.